What's up guys? If you recently subscribed to DSTV on your mobile phone, your browser or your TV and you still could not get all of the channels you just paid for, in this video I'm going to show you how to resolve the issue and get all of the channels that you paid for in your DSTV subscription. This is going to be a very simple and easy one so I encourage that you follow along painstakingly. Now to make it easy for everyone, I'm going to show you how to resolve these issues in different devices. So I'm going to show you how to resolve it on your TV, I'm going to show you how to resolve it on your mobile phone and even on the browser. But before we dive into the video, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one. Now first things first, if you're watching DSTV on any device and you could not get the subscription you just paid for, then what you should do is to basically clear the cache of the DSTV application on that particular device. So over here is my Hisense Smart TV and I'm getting that issue here. So what I just want to do is to go to the settings. Usually you will find the clear cache option on the settings of your TV. So you want to go to the settings of your TV and then on the settings option, you want to go to the system settings and on the system settings, you want to scroll down just like so until you get to application settings now this is the settings for all of the applications on my tv now if you're using an android tv you might get this option as well and what you should do is to basically go ahead and clear the cache of the dstv application on your tv now in my case if you click on the clear cache option you're going to see the clear cache option just at the top right corner here so what you just want to go ahead and do is to go ahead and click on the clear cache and it's going to ask you if you really want to clear the cache of your tv now what you should just do is to go ahead and click on clear like so and it is going to clear the cache of all of the streaming applications on your tv another way to actually clear the cache of the dstv application on your tv is to basically go ahead and uninstall the dstv application from your tv so in my case i can go ahead and just long press on it like so and then uninstall this particular application from my tv now it doesn't really matter the tv you're using so make sure that you try and uninstall the dstv application and then reinstall it to your tv now after you must have uninstalled and installed the dstv application you can just go ahead and open up the application again on your tv and trust me most likely it is going to work this time on your tv now if you're using a mobile phone this is how to clear up your browser history so that the dstv app will start working so basically in your my profile over here that you can see that i do not have any channels over here so to clear your browser history what you just want to do is to click on this three dot icon over here and then you want to go to history like so and you're going to find your history and what you just want to do you can see the browsing data history here so you can just click on delete um browsing data history and you're going to see all of these things you can just click on delete over here like so and you're going to be asked if you want to delete the information that is already stored on this site. You can see DSTV stream included. So you can just go ahead and click on the delete over here. And once it is deleted, you can now go back to your DSTV app and reload the DSTV app on your mobile phone again, just like so. And this time you'll be expected to enter in your password and your email again. So you can just go ahead and log into your account again. Now for the second option if you're using the mobile app like the dstv stream app over here obviously you cannot actually get the three dot icon on the top of your dstv app so what you want to basically do is to go to your settings of your mobile phone just like so and you just want to scroll down until you find apps so you can see the apps option this is usually in every phone both iphones and android phones i want to go to manage apps just like so and then you on the search bar over here you want to search for dstv so this actually contains all the apps on your mobile phone so you just click on dstv like so and you basically want to go and click on clear data over here so you just go ahead and click on clear data just like so and you can just see whether you want to clear cache or you want to clear all data so you can just go ahead and click on clear all data and once you click on clear all data it will actually log you out of your DSTV app and clear all the data on your DSTV app as well. Now you can now go back and log into your DSTV application again. And this time you should have all of your channels on your DSTV app. Now, if after trying the first method, it didn't work out for you, then there is actually another option that might work for you. And that is to basically reset your DSTV account or your DSTV decoder. Now, there are different ways to do this, but I strongly recommend that you reset your DSTV account by basically sending RESET in capital letters, then your smart card number, and then you send it to 30333. Now, 
this code actually differs depending on the country that you are so to make things easy i am going to drop a list of all of the codes for different countries in the description box of this particular video so what you just want to do is to go ahead and send reset then your smart card number to the code for your particular country and trust me it is going to reset your dstv application and it's going to work pretty well for you that'll be all on today's video guys i hope this video was able to help you get all of the channels that you actually subscribe for in your dstv application if this video was helpful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one